Hello, this is my guide on the Kirby Skip version 2.0. Oh my guys, it's even its final form yet. Well, here we are again, another guide for a skip which just keeps evolving. I'm gonna get right into it this time. The tile I've marked is where you normally run to while killing Vespula. It just happens to be the perfect tile for the skip. You want to turn on Rapid Heal and run away from this tile at the same time. You can be two ticks early or one tick late turning on Rapid Heal and it'll still work out. But don't miss any ticks on the way to the rope. When your HP regens on the rope, it increases the max hit of the remaining attacks, which is why the timing matters. Turn on Redemption on the way there. Once you get there, cross right away. You will regen 1 HP on the first cross, allowing you to proc Redemption. Then click to run to the crystal. On the next tick, click to pick it up. Wait a tick. On the next tick, click to run back to rope. With the remainder of that tick and the tick after, click the P-neck and purple sweets and then click back on the rope. If done correctly, you have now done the Kirby Skip 2.0. The purple sweet tick eats the first wave of attacks, allowing your pink to activate, assuming you're below 20 HP while crossing. A full solo CM rope skip with no stalling and only one pink. No prayer needed, no specific world, no fixed device. If this method finds another way to evolve, I'll be amazed. Now onto the details on the different HP amounts. For a 1 HP skip, for a low defense armor. For 1 HP, it's actually a bit better to have your HP regen earlier. But the success rate is so high, it doesn't matter, so don't worry. Nothing else is different from before. For the 2 HP skip, this is where it's very important you get the rapid heal timing as mentioned earlier. The death rate goes up significantly if you're not in that 4 tick window. Wear your tankiest armor for this skip to keep with a purple sweet on the same tick you run towards the crystal, just like how you would to keep in the old Kirby skip. Though there's no stall notification now, the rest is the same. For the 3 HP skip, wear a low defense armor. It's a bit better if your HP regens earlier, but success is already very high, so it's not a big deal. If you do want to do it, wait 3 to 6 ticks before crossing the rope. Any later than that is death. After crossing, you will want to take heat as you move to the crystal, but this time with a brew. The rest is the same. And that's everything covered. Here's what you're looking at for death rates in various gear. As you can see, success rate has improved over the original Kirby skip, which makes up for the increase in difficulty. It's also much simpler with so many less versions to worry about. Inquisitor setup should be fine for 1 and 3 HP skip. If you really want to, you can do takeoffs for 3 HP skip. If you don't bring Inquisitor, I recommend doing takeoffs for the 3 HP skip as Arma and Bandos give a decent death chance. For a 2 HP skip, whatever your tankiest setup is should be fine. Not doing the purple sweet tick eat before picking up the crystal does allow you to have more freedom with your camera position for the 2 HP skip, so if you're okay with a higher death chance, feel free to do this. For more information on the Kirby skip, my video on the old method explains the mechanics and timing very well, so be sure to check that out. If I find any mistakes or have any updates, I'll be sure to post them in a pinned comment. Also shout out to Dio for helping me out with cross-referencing calculations and some discussions we had about the method. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed my guide. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more. It really helps me out. And see you all in the next video, which hopefully is not the Kirby Skip 3.0. See ya.